What's up, everybody? Rachel Wolf Goldsmith from Wolfpack here with Dolo Brands, repping our new collaboration. Hey, folks, this is Tina from Moonmade Farms, and I'm very excited to be part of this collaboration with Dolo and Rachel from Wolfpack. doing is honoring the earth and honoring the people who are on the farm and honoring the community, honoring this culture that is making cannabis accessible now to more people than ever before in history. Like we're in this incredible time when this plant that can not only help the quality of life for people, but it can shift consciousness and it can make somebody's day so much better. And people internationally are about to have more access to this plant than ever before. So I'm really interested in your process and how you realize that you could do this like beautiful, epic work that you do. I feel like we all have some kind of gift and some kind of offering that like fits into the world, right? And then it's taught out of you, like you're saying. So I think that I managed to be able to stay in tune with my creativity because of who my family was and their support for that. And also ending up in an alternative school, which didn't like, they saw that certain things weren't my strength and then they put art supplies in my hands and were like, do this, you're really good at this. Like, we'll help you with your math and your science and whatever, but like really like put a weight on what I was naturally good at. I would love to see this plant reach as many people as it can help and to help improve quality of life the world over for whoever needs not only this plant, but plant medicine. And for there to be a consciousness shift and with plant medicine that allows people to see the beauty and creativity in life and to really be able to heal ourselves and heal each other, to heal the planet and for it to be like a higher resonance existence. for that mural is it came from this scene in the movie Rise which is about Crump uh, dance in LA and there's this scene where there's a mashup between modern day crumping and and dance from the diaspora hip-hop dance and ancestral tribal dance and going back and forth and showing this connection between the movements and the motion and the spirit behind it and uh, that scene has like always stayed in my heart. And so that, that idea jumped out to me while I was driving in my car. And I was like, wow, I wanna execute this idea of this dancer being in all these different phases of the dance and transitioning from a modern day person into the ancestral body um, and clothing and garments. So, Man, the execution of it, like, at the time when it was created, I mean, I feel like it was one of those moments of divine inspiration where you're a vessel for the universe and the universe brings the message that needs to be brought. And it was just this amazing expression of joy and depth and um, connection to heritage and kind of just like a... Like, I had multiple people come and cry in front of it and tell me how it reminds them of their sisters or their mother or their friend or that it looks like them and that they feel empowered by looking at it and that you know it was this moment of joy in this otherwise entirely crushing series of weeks where everything just kept 
getting worse and more intense and more violent and uh, so it was really empowering and peaceful and beautiful to create something that was like this beacon of joy during that time. Well, thank y'all so much for the collaboration, for this conversation, for the cannabis, for the art, for the healing. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you.